Key among the weaknesses Ken Oferiata identified include Ghana's low GDP ratio, high demand and dependence on imports, including food products that can be produced here, inefficient power management, numerous statutory funds with expenditure issues. To mention a few, the finance minister says government is ready to put in strong efforts to address these critical issues. On our part, we will ensure that we implement systems to enhance revenue collection through compliance measures to bring public finances back to a sustainable path while growing the real sector of the economy, especially agriculture. Implement the necessary structural reforms to strengthen expenditure commitment control, avoid arrears accumulation, and protect the public purse. Strengthen SOE governance, review statutory funds, and ensure improved alignment of key priorities address the energy sector challenges and implement the accelerated community roads Im improvement phase two to expand mutability and improve roads nationwide. With threats from the Chamber of Independent Power Producers and bulk consumers to shut down their plants in coming days, the finance minister insists government is engaging the IPPs on debt relief and financing arrangements of the $2.3 billion debt. Although pension funds were exempted from the main DDP, we continue to engage them. Mr. Speaker, we are also engaging with the IPPs on debt relief and financing arrangements to achieve both debt sustainability for Ghana and financial sustainability for the energy sector. Under government initiatives, phase two of the planting for food and jobs is being finalized to ensure more efficient and targeted supports for the agricultural sector. The program has directly contributed to increased crop yields for major food stables such as maize, rice and soya by 135%, 67% and 18% respectively within the period. After a comprehensive review, Government is finalizing PFG phase two to ensure a more efficient and targeted support for the agriculture sector. The key elements of phase two are input credit systems, storage and distribution infrastructure, commodity trading, and digitized platforms. Government is also working towards securing carbon financing to support climate change. As anticipated by the business community and economic analysts, no new taxes have been introduced. Ken Oferiata says the current preconditions have become necessary for long-term economic growth and transformation. As such, government intends to pursue a growth agenda that is fully aligned with the 2028 timeline for returning to a path of debt sustainability. Given the limited fiscal space, as well as our determination not to accumulate new areas. Our growth agenda will be mainly financed from domestic and external private sector investments as well as a rationalization of ongoing programs. The approach is to prioritize existing programs that are critical for growth and can be implemented to deliver quick results without huge demands on the available budgetary resources. Ultimately, we will aggressively encourage the private sector under the Ghana Mutual Prosperity Dialogue Framework to promote shared growth anchored on job creation, food security, exports and import substitution. With the revised economic growth target of 1.5% from an initial 2.8%, the economy is projected to contract. This, however, falls in line with the IMF and World Bank projections of 1.6%. For government, strong fiscal consolidation is a necessity for the economy to recover quickly. From Parliament House, Nana Ikuya Mensah Brampa, 3 Business.